Hello, welcome, welcome to a new video in my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that we are right in the corner for this special event. I don't know in your country when is Mother's Day, but in parts of Latin America and especially in Mexico it's May 10th. So we are only a few days ahead to celebrate this beautiful day. Well, I have an idea if you want to give something for your mom or for yourself. This is one piece you started from the front and you can make it in all the size you want. I think and I consider that this vest is unisize, so it's perfect if you want to give a gift and you don't know the exact centimeters and the exact size. Okay, so this idea is perfect also if you crochet to sell. But well, let's start. Well, we are going to start making this vest for the fronts. As you could see, this material is between fine and light material. I will make it in this coral, coral color, <laughs> sorry. And we will use the hook of 3.5 millimeters. And to decorate, I will use three bottoms. Okay, so to start, well, in a standard size for an adult, I think that 60 chains as a base will be perfect. You are going to make first one front, so you are going to make the half of your first front, okay? And according to that centimeters, you are going to make the, the number of chains that you need. In this case, I made 60 chains. Then, to continue with the stitch, in my case, the chain measured 40 centimeters. Well, after the 60 chains, we are going to make five chains more. So here we are, one, two, three, four, and five. Then we are going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, and in the seventh chain we are going to insert the hook and make a double crochet we take one two and we will leave the last loops in hold then in the same place again a second double crochet and in the same place a third double crochet leaving the last loops in hold as you could see i made this double crochet out of three crochet then we are going to bring them through one chain to close plus three more chains okay then turn over and in the stitch next to it we are going to make the same. Three double crochet out of three crochet, leaving the last loop in hold right there in the hook. So here we are making some leaves, okay? Then bring them through and make one chain to close. So, so far we have this. Then one, two, three, four, five chains. And we are going to skip two, three, four, five, six. We are going to make a single crochet. Then five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. We are going to skip one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we are going to make the same. We are going to make two leaves. So each leaf, as you could see, has three double crochet out of three crochet but leaving the last loops in hold bring them through and make one chain to close then three chains and then in the stitch next to it we are going to make the second leaf again in the same place three double crochet out of three crochet leaving the last loop in hold as you could see here, it's out of the crochet, we take one, two, and the last one, you leave it in hold. We are going to continue like this, the hold row, okay? Well, at the end of the row, making one chain and in the last stitch, we are going to make the last double crochet of the edge. Then turn around. And we will go up with four chains. At the end, I had six segments. And then here at the beginning of the second leaf, right here, we are going to start with the throwing. So we are going to insert the hook and right here we are going to start with the first part of the two leaves. Okay, we are going to make the first leaf. 
So in the same place, try double crochet, leaving the last loop in hold. Here I'm having a bit trouble. Okay, so here we are going to complete three double crochet, then slip one to close and one chain, then three chains, and here in the same place. Well, as you could see in this row, we are going to make two leaves in the same place. So we are going to leave the last loops in hold, then one chain to close. So, so far we have this. Then we are going to make one, two, three, four, and five chains. Then we are going to jump on single crochet at the beginning of the second segment. Right there we will go up with five chains, okay? Two, and here we have five, and then in the second leaf of the second segment, you see, right there we are going to start with the second segment of leaves in this second row. So then three chains, and the same place as you, as I told you, we are going to make the second leaf. And basically here in this second row, we are going to follow this sequence, like this, you see. So now we are going to make one, uh, five chains and continue. Well, here we are at the end of the row. As you could see, I finished the last leaf at the end of the uh, of the second leaf. You see, the last one that we made. At the end, we are going to make a double crochet for the edge. And now we are going to turn around and we will go up with one, two, three, four. And we will start again in the second leaf. And like this we are going to continue until we have ten rows. Well, so here we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth rows, okay? And I will give you the centimeter so you can have a reference. Remember here we have six segments and with these six segments of two leaves, I continue. Remember once we iron it, it will change. So of long here we have 20 centimeters and then now we are going to continue with the stitch but here instead of making five chains we are going to make seven. Well, I'm increasing here some chains because when we arrive to the sleeves, we can divide, okay? So we will start again the same. We will go up with four chains and we will continue in the second leaf. We will start making the first segment of leaves right there. And we are going to continue. Everything will be the same, just that instead of making five chains, we are going to make six so here i will show you no sorry we are going to make seven so here we have one two three four five six and seven chains then we will jump and here at the beginning of the next segment a single crochet so as you could see it did open a little bit okay but basically the stitch will be the same so like this Let's continue, then we are going to make again here seven chains and at the end of the second leaf we will insert the hook and start with the next segment. So like this is how we are going to continue making more rows until we arrive to the shoulders actually with this stitch and you are going to see that it will open, it will make an A shape, so it will be perfect. So here we are making a review of the stitch, so you are going to see that we are going to uh, count the centimeters from here to the shoulder, and right there we will stop and I will show you what's next, you will see how it opens. Well remember we were here, we started with five chains here between I put some markers and then I continue making these rows so here from where we have the markers we have three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 
so this will be the long from under my hips until the shoulders. So we are going to make a second piece exactly the same. We are going to make 10th rows first and then we are going to put some markers and there we are going to start the next chapter uh, with 7 chains between them. So we are going to make basically the same. I will give you the centimeters so you can have a reference to make the second piece. So it must have the same number of rows and centimeters too. So approximately 62 centimeters. So we are going to make two fronts like this one and then see you there to teach you how we are going to divide and continue with the sleeves. Well, here I have my two pieces with the exact number of rows and everything. Well at the end I try on and I increase one row here at the end instead of making 14 I made 15 and I made the same in the other side too. So here I have two pieces. As you could see both are facing to the wrong side. And well once we check that and once we are sure both are facing to the same side here i finished the row and i took the thread i made 10 chains to join with the second piece and this will be like the bridge between the pieces and then from here i will continue straight making the same number of rows and this will be for the back so also i will make 15 rows with seven chains between uh, leaves and then I will make the same number of rows with five chains between the leaves okay but I will continue straight well here remember that in both sides we have the same number of segments but here in these chains that we made we are going to increase one segment like this one so at the end counting both pieces we are going to have 13 segments so I will continue and then I will show you before I let you to continue, I want to show you. So here is where I finish. I made seven chains and then I made here between these chains, I made these uh, two leaves and then I continue seven chains and then I continue with the same number of segments in both fronts. So let's continue. Well, so here we are. The two fronts, then here are the chains that we increase. Then we made the same number of rows, 15 rows with 7 chains between them. And then we made 10 rows with 5 chains between segments. So, so far we have this. Well, now that we are ready and that we are sure, we are going to fold it like this. Okay? We are going to perfectly match both pieces and here we have our best you see now we are going to so as you could see this is the back the two fronts and here is where we are going to put the bottoms to decorate if you want now what we are going to do is that here in the bottom we are going to make a last row for the edge and here we are going to sew the 10th rows that we made with 5 chains, remember, here until we have the markers, we are going to sew and also in the other side we are going to make the same, okay? So please perfectly match both pieces and in order we are going to join. And well, to decorate we are going to decorate all around the sleeves, here the fronts and the bottom too, I will show you. Well, here with the embroidery needle I sew, so I went in order, so this is the stitch that I used, invisible stitch, and I joined the 10 chains that we made with 5 chains between, remember? Then here in the sleeves I decorated with these shells, okay, I will show you how I make it, I decorate this sleeve, then all around the other sleeve, all around the neck, the fronts and in the bottom. Please count how many shells do you have in one sleeve so you can have the same number in the other sleeve too. So here in the bottom we are going to make the same also in the fronts. So I will show you how I made this stitch. So we will go up with three chains 
and then in the same place we are going to make two double crochet and here we have the second double crochet then we are going to calculate more or less the distance and right there we are going to insert the hook and make a single crochet again three chains and in the same place two double crochet so this is the shells stitch that I love and that I mostly use in all my videos because I love how simple and beautiful it is so we are going to make the same all around the sleeves, the bottoms and the fronts once we finish we are going to hide all the threads that we may have and we are going to iron using a protection under and we are going to iron both sizes okay please make sure that you extend it put some pins because remember that the first time you iron this is how it will be like this forever so the first time it's very important so please extend it and take your time and we are going to make the same both sizes so from the wrong and from the right side okay then we are going to put the bottoms here if you want or you can use a brush or you can crochet some of the bottoms that I have teach in previous videos and like you wish okay let's see how it looks well so what do you think so far I think that it's one of the most easiest projects that I have ever made don't you think it was so easy and super fast I hope that you all make it for yourself to look beautiful in this beautiful day or, or to give or if you crochet to sell I think that this idea it's perfect please let me know if you make it and also please don't forget to follow me in all my social media and facebook pinterest and instagram and please subscribe here remember that it's completely free don't forget to leave me a comment to give me a like and to share this video if you like it thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more coming videos also please let me know in the comments in your city when you celebrate mother's day i'm curious to know thank you so much and stay tuned take care see you soon bye bye